Welcome to our channel. A newly engaged food diner for Dazzle St. Tropez with a little help from some major jewelry. I feel very glamorous, says the actor food diner dramatically with a gentle laugh. I never really grew up seeing my mom wearing much jewelry, so it has always felt like a really special thing to me. We are at a gala dinner at the Chateau St. Moore in celebrating the unveiling of Louis Vuitton's new high jewelry collection called Awakened Hands, Awakened Minds. It's the sixth collection designed by Francesca Amphidiotroff, Louis Vuitton's revered artistic director of watches and jewelry, who has been in position since 2018. Earlier in the evening, the newly engaged to Dynaver dressed in a cream-woven crochet silk and wool dress from Louis Vuitton's Fall 2024 collection paired with a white gold, platinum, diamond, and emerald liberty necklace and earrings sat next to her fan K, the actor Cameron Fuller, and Amphitheatrophe to watch an exclusive runway show for which models had been adorned in the exquisite jewelry pieces and bejeweled gowns created specifically for the occasion by Louis Vuitton's artistic director of women's wear, Nicolas Gasquier. I love how Nicholas always likes to empower a woman, enthuses Dynever. He's always looking for ways that are all about strengthening women and making them feel, she pauses thoughtfully, searching for the right word. Essentially, his designs and Francesca's are less about sex appeal and so much more about armor and embodying a character, a strong character. Of course, playing strong characters is slowly but surely becoming Dynever's raison d'etre. After rising to prominence with her breakout role as Daphne in Shonda Rhimes' Regency blockbuster Bridgerton, she left in order to appear in the psychological thriller Fair Play. While Dynever acknowledges the beautiful lift the Netflix mega-hit gave her, she has no regrets about leaving at the height of its popularity. I think when you're drawn to a script, which I was with fair play, you just have that moment where you think, this is my next job. And that was really exciting. Yes, it felt so different from Bridgerton, but both the script and the character Emily meant so much to me. It was like this mishmash of all the things I came into the industry to do. Seeing people's reaction to it, that was a very special moment in my career that I'm really proud of. In the couple of years she has held her role as a Louis Vuitton ambassador, this is the first time Dynever has attended the unveiling of a high jewelry collection and she got to see it up close and personal the day before the show. There was this big pink champagne diamond, she says, her eyes widening. I have never seen anything like it. And Francesca is incredible. Hearing her speak about the collection and everything that goes into it is just amazing. She says, Awakened hands, awakened minds sounds a little bit cryptic, Amphitheatroph concedes with a smile. But she explains, it is inspired by a time in 19th century France when there was an explosion of incredible talent. The Enliers were set free post the revolutions, the guilds were abolished, and there was this enormous growth of the French know how, a savoir faire. This is where luxury began. Everyone turned to France to come and see this incredible awakening of the hands. The awakening minds element of the collection, meanwhile, is a nod to the second half of the 19th century, when there was a growth of invention and discovery. It happened in science, it happened in engineering, it happened in architecture, and Paris became the city of lights. It was the first city in Europe to have both gas lights and electric lights says the jewelry designer. It was the center of the world. With Paris set to host the 2024 Olympic Games, it's fitting that France should be woven so intricately into the collection. The homage is particularly overt in some pieces, the Victor necklace, for instance, is an ode to the Eiffel Tower. I've never really thought of jewelry as architecture, but this piece was so architecturally strong that I was so blown away by it says Dynever. This resonance, she admits, is also linked to one of her own favorite memories of Paris. This might sound really silly, but I didn't realize that the Eiffel Tower sparkled all the time at night. Then, on the night I attended my first Louis Vuitton show, 
I was in a car on my own, and we went past the Eiffel Tower. It was just after the world had opened up again post-COVID, and I remember looking at it and thinking, ah, life is back, and it's crazy, and it's so sparkly, and it's so magical. It's a feeling she connects to the jewelry she chose to wear tonight. I really love minimalist pieces, and I'm drawn to things that have a daintiness to them. Also, because I'm wearing nudes and neutrals, I felt the emerald green would add a pop of color. Thanks you for watching. Stay connected with us for more videos.